Well, after years of pressure, the NFL's Washington Redskins is changing its name. The team released a statement this morning saying a new name and design is on the way, but the color scheme will likely stay the same. The current logo has a direct connection to the Blackfeet Nation of Northern Montana. MTN's John Riley spoke with tribal members today to get their reaction. Washington team ownership announced Monday they will be retiring their name and logo. The logo isn't a mascot, though. It's based off a real man, Chief Two Guns Whitecalf of the Blackfeet tribe. He had a, he was a very prominent person. Uh, you know, as what he led to the Blackfeet was integrity. He was a man of integrity. The team had used the logo since the 1970s. The logo had previously been an R until Walter Blackie Wetzel, former chairman of the Blackfoot tribe and president of the National Congress of American Indians, persuaded the team to change it. The team maintained a relationship with the Wetzel family and the Blackfeet Nation over the years, and members of the tribe have performed traditional music and blessings at the team's stadium several times. The name and logo change comes after a letter signed by 87 investors and shareholders with a total worth of $620 billion was sent to the sponsors Nike, Pepsi, and FedEx, requesting them to stop doing business with the team until the name was changed. The National Congress of American Indians praised the name change and said the previous name disrespected, demeaned, and stereotyped all Native people. Murray said he can't speak for every member of the more than 540 tribes in the U.S., but personally can see how the name and the actions of some of the fans can be seen as unrespectful and degrading. You know, they would paint their faces and, and act out, you know, different, put on feathers and whatever. And, and, and I think that's what really turned a lot of people off. John Riley, thanks again. Now, Donnie Wetzel tells MTN his family has varying opinions on the matter. Personally, he tells us he was glad to see the name change, but sad to see the logo go as well.